And we're back with part two of Apollo Justice. Now. Now, it appears we're questioning Phoenix Wright on the witness stand. This is our first testimony of the game, so we just need to gather some information, some background on this case. So, Borst Bowl Club used to be involved in Black Market's fun stuff. But Black Market's only silver screen these days. So that's a big Black Market urban thingy. Oh, I bet it does, Judge. So can I. It's like a scene out of The Godfather or something. A few other tricks. Common knowledge to our regulars. Okay. Keep in mind. I can believe that. Good, clean fun. So you play a game of poker using two decks of cards, eh? Hmm. What's that? There's cards on the table, cards on the floor. Crime scene painted blue by a sad sweep of cards. It's poetic, really. I imagine. So keep that in mind. One deck was red, one deck was blue. That's going to come in handy as this case goes on. So that'll do it for the first... for Nick's testimony. But Judgey disagrees. You know, he did say that. What's well, strange? Well, of course we expected to hear an objection cry from Mr. Spiky Hair. What's that, Kristoff? Hmm. Hmm. Now, he will say he never touched the murder weapon, but we know that his fingerprints are on the deadly bottle of grape juice. So we pretty much have to say something to continue. Even though it's against our better judgment as a defense attorney. Yes, he did. And yes, it is. Ouch. That was painful. Yes, it can. You, you look so smug while you're saying that, Kristoff. Ah, that's true. How's that? Upside down, you say? Hmm. There can be only one reason. I acknowledge that's a legitimate reason. But there can't be... There can never be only one explanation for something happening. Nonsense. 
Right? You see no problem. Hmm. For now. Hmm. Yes, Kristoff? That would be... Mr. Wright. Yeah, we saw that. Now, why would he go and murder someone and then run off and call the cops and report it? Crime scene diagram. Okay. In that hallway to go up upstairs. Into the Borscht Ball Club. That's the phone. I don't know why we need that. That's true. Huh. Yeah. Does that mean we should actually do some defending? Ah. That is a good question. Hmm. You should have figured that out, Apollo. Jeez. Yep. I'm ready. Well, now let's actually... Hello. Let's actually do some defending, please, Apollo. Rather than letting, rather than letting our boss do the job. Hey. Our horns aren't demonic. What are you talking about? Your hairdo looks creepier, Pain. Violence against hair. Ah, there you are. Ah! Um, camera? She's a professional, eh? Professional what? You're Olga Orly. I'm employed as waitress in Bolst Bull Club restaurant. Okay. Of course, it is my pride to serve Bolst that is naming a restaurant. Eh, okay, that's enough of that. I was said other service. Hmm. Whoa. Hello. That's interesting. Hmm. Now, what does this mean? Casually added to the court record. So you were in the room, the hideout. Bad guy, famous gangster bad guy was arrested. Why, thank you. <laughs> but I don't want a copy of that photo. 
and Olga. Does that mean Olga killed her? I guess we shall see. That fateful night. That night, customer asked me to deal cards for game. It was cold, but both players played with hats on, da. The victim he plays all time with his hand on locket at his neck. Then, last hand is done, but something terrible has happened, da. That man flew at the victim and is strangling him to death. Whoa. Really? Really? Really, Apollo? That was lame. Until Phoenix Wright came on, you know. Now, what's that? Ah. That was a good idea. Okay. Da. Okay, yeah, we know how poker works. Look at that. That's the victim side right there. That's got a lot of big chips, and only two small chips. And right side has a lot of small chips, but only two big chips. So now, we'll start this cross-examination when we return. I have to cut this off here, sorry. <laughs>